Hi everybody, this is Nerdcore Unlimited and we're going to talk about Tensuji 28 Go. It was also called Iron Man number 28. Back in 1956, the manga writer and illustrator Mitsuture Yokoyama also created another character, Giant Robo. The series centered on the adventure of the young boy named Shotaro Kanega who controlled a giant robot named Tensujin 28, built by his late father. They also make an animated series. That was the animated series version, but also in back in 1960, a Japanese TV series was created by Hitachi LTD. The series consists of 13 episodes of 26 minutes, obviously all in black and white. It's based on a loose adaptation of the first few volumes of the ongoing Tensuji 28 manga. The plot involves a boy detective, Shotaro Kanega, ended up in control of the two-meter World War II era robot, Tensuji 28. And with the help from the Japanese Cell Defense Force and Shikishima Heavy Industries, he must stop the terror group QX, but they call PX an ongoing manga, from using the robot to terrorize Japan. The interesting fact about this TV show is one of the first ever to adapt from a manga to a real life and using a robot. Just like in the United States, they tried to do Batman, Captain America, Shazam, and Superman. It's really interesting to see the adaptation they tried to make back in 1960. Ah, robot. Robot. Based on the budget, the special effects that are limited, making Tensuji 28 for a huge machine to just a mere size human in a robot suit. Also, episode 4 and 12, for some reason, is lost forever. Weird. <laughs> Wow. 
我々は勇気を振り起こして27号の制作に取り掛かったみんな必死だったそして5ヶ月後にようやく27号が完成の運びになったしかし27号は今までのロボットよりは数段と優れたものではあった Hold on, hold on. This sequence cannot look familiar. Where I actually see that before? Robocop 2, that's where it came from. Talk about deja vu. They are so much harder. That's it for today. I hope so you guys like it and we'll see you soon for more info for anime. ピカピカギラギラ小さい僕らの憧れだ不正を見れば奮い立つ翔太郎は英雄だ理想の仕事はロケット I'm not a man.